What's going on, chess friends? It's Rafi Chaudhary here, and today I'm here to discuss with you guys the Chef 7 move checkmate, otherwise known as the Legal's mate. So it can happen from a very natural sequence of moves in chess, so it makes sense that we're aware of this kind of trap, especially for beginner players. This is a very easy trap to fall into. So let's get started. So this Legal's mate starts after 1 e4. Black plays e5. White plays the move knight to uh, f3. Black responds the natural knight to c6. White plays a bishop to c4. Again, very natural moves here. And say black plays a move like d6, uh, trying to free up the bishop. So let's just say white plays a move like knight to c3. Black plays the bishop to g3, or I'm sorry, g4 to pin the knight. And white responds with a move h3, attacking the bishop. Now you might think a very, very casual and normal looking move here is bishop h5. However, this move runs into this very nice tactical shot that we can go after here, which is knight takes e5. So let's look at this. This looks crazy because immediately you notice that the bishop is actually, you know, going to be able to take the queen. So what happens if, uh, let's look at the sideline or the, the moves that don't lose right away. <laughs> so um, what, um, what black, the black's best move, honestly, in this position is actually to cap to go ahead and just accept the fact that he's down a pawn. Because he can go after knight, uh, he can go with knight takes h uh, e5, after which bishop queen takes bishop, and knight takes c4, and you can play queen to b5 check, and after c6, queen takes c4, and as you can see, uh, white is ahead by just a clear pawn for no possible compensation. Um, similarly, if d takes here, you can go into the same sort of line, queen takes h5, and after g6, queen can return to f3, and again, we have a very simple position, white's just a pawn ahead. So let's look at the beautiful finish that happens after, what if white decide, black decides to take the queen, which is a big, big mistake to take. Already the position is lost after, of course, you know, at a grandmaster level, for sure it's lost after losing a central pawn like that. But after taking the queen, it's an amazing checkmate with bishop takes f7, check, he only has one square, e7, with knight to d5, checkmate. To follow and it's just a beautiful mate with the minor pieces all combining together and coming into the center of the board checkmate the black king so again this is a seven move checkmate it's known as the legal's mate so let's go through it one more time so we can refresh our me memory so legal's mate usually comes after e4 black plays e5 white will typically play a move like knight to f3 black will defend with knight to c6 kind of like an italian game sort of white will typically play a move like bishop to c4 developing his piece and black will typically uh, play a move like d6 to protect the bishop. White plays a move knight to c3. And black oftentimes will try to pin this knight on f3 to the queen. To which white responds by playing the move h3, attacking the bishop. It might seem like a very natural move to try to not give up the bishop so early. The bishop takes f3 is the best move probably here in this position to go ahead and get rid of the bishop. But say black decides he wants to keep the bishop a little bit longer because it's so early in the game and play the bishop to h5. That runs into this beautiful uh, move, knight takes e5. To which the black's best move is to play, take, play knight takes e5 as not to get checkmated, or d takes e5 even. But if black does fall for the uh, trap, which a lot of lower level players might fall for this, bishop, uh, bishop takes queen on d1. We have a beautiful two move checkmate now with bishop takes f7 check. King's only square is to go to e7, and followed by knight takes uh, d5, or knight to d5, which is a checkmate ending the game and checkmating the king in the uh, middle of the board. So thanks again, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is the che uh, chess, the seven move checkmate, otherwise known as the legal's mate. Leave in the comments below what your ideas are. If you've, if you've ever beaten anybody like this or if you've fallen for this kind of checkmate, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Until next time, thank you guys. Rafi Chowdhury signing out.